guys, good morning. Happy Tuesday, another day. Today is a big coffee kind of day. I've got my big coffee mug on the go. Curly, get down. Um, today I am going to be showing you how to use our hematite donut beads. So they're really beautiful. They're actually a hollow ring bead. Um, and today I'm gonna pop in some beautiful crystals in the middle of them. Um, so I've got a few different uh, ways to show you how you can use them. I'm gonna use tiger tail, um, but if you tuned in yesterday for our stretch elastic, you could also use them for those as well. So really beautiful beads. And you can see we're just gonna capture some lovely crystals in the middle of them. So quite a few techniques to show you, some lovely bundles as well. Um, pop over to the website if you would like to have a look. We've got um, two sizes, two sizes of crystals and two sizes of our donut hematite beads as well. When Curly, shh. Yesterday was um, interesting. We had the water man, we had the window cleaner, the dog was going mad. I thought today was going to be nice and calm. I will try. Um, okay, so good morning Antida. Hi Alicia, Helen, uh, two Helens. Hello Helen, Helen. Uh, Gemma, Lucy, Alison, Julie, Carolyn. Good morning everybody. Um, hi, morning Lynn. Hope you're keeping well. I am, thank you. Morning Sarah. Why? Why a big mug? Did you have a bad night? Actually, I slept really well. Um, and sometimes, you know when you wake up even more tired when you've slept really well? One of those kind of days, but I'm doing good. Um, I've just got a lot on, so um, I need to be a bit caffeine fueled today. Good morning, Natalie. Natalie saying good morning, Curly. Yes, I'm not sure how quiet it's gonna be today. With any luck, uh, it won't be as disruptive as yesterday. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll try and shush him in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna turn you down in a minute. Um, love the fact you've always got a cup of tea. A, cu a cup of tea. Um, I know, I'm sorry. Once you've spoken for about an hour, your voice gets really dry and obviously I've got you guys to talk to, but it's just me jabbering on for an hour, isn't it? So um, I do like to try and uh, keep hydrated as we go. Stop the, uh... oh my goodness. One second, guys. Curly, come here. Why are you being so noisy? Shush now, in your bed, in your bed, in your bed. Come here then, come and say hello to everyone. This is the little pickle making all the noise. All the noise, very sorry about that, very sorry. Okay, we're gonna try and be good boy, aren't we? Right, in your bed, go on, in your bed, in your bed. Okay, so. Let's get beading. Okay, so these are the beads that we're going to use today. Oh, Brenda, normal day in the Millsop house. Oh my goodness, it really is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love the fact that you guys just know I live in mayhem. That's <laughs> what you get for joining me every day in my house, eh? Okay, so these are the beautiful beads that we're going to use and i'll show you the bundles in a minute now there's two different sizes of the donuts and there's also two different sizes of the crystals i'm going to use i'm going to show you how to extend the tiger tail down to make this beautiful y shape so if you've got um a v-neck top on or these are great obviously if you have um polar necks for the winter as well something that's just going to give you that slightly more elongated neckline um you can also then create really lovely um round line necklaces with them as well so i was using those graduating from the smaller to the larger this one i've actually alternated them all the way through the necklace um Sarah, have you ever blinged up your dog leashes? I have not. Um, I'm not sure hubby would go for that. <laughs> we actually have a working dog as well. So Earl um, stays with me while John and Django, he's our Belgian Malinois, are at work. I'm not really sure that's the kind of look that uh, he needs as a security dog. <laughs> <laughs> but I might try, might sneak a bit of bling on him. Um, we've got some beautiful colours as well. And you don't have to stick to the colours. You can actually um, create really lovely features with them as well. So in your smaller ones here, I've used a much darker royal blue, moving down into sort of the more lighter opal finish, which is really beautiful. 
So lots of different colours and you can do some really beautiful things with them. Now yesterday, if you tuned in uh, to our Facebook Live, I was using Stretch Elastic. These are also going to be a really fantastic take on those as well. So creating very different looks. And you can see in here, you can actually add in any shapes of beads um, that you that will fit into the donut. So you might have some lovely ones in your stash. Okay, so the bundles that we've got available today, I have included the crystals as well because I'm going to be using these. We've got an amazing, these are the six mil uh, crystal rounds. You get eight strands. They are normally uh, £20 down to £14.99. I just love, maybe it's just because I'm wearing the greens today, but you know what I'm like, I love my khaki greens and they seem to be everywhere at the moment as well. Um, a really popular colour at the moment. So um, eight strands and that's uh, down to £14.99. You also have the four millimetre bundle as well. I haven't got my bundle out, but I've got this one that I'm going to add into my necklace and I've selected this one from my larger. So that's my four and my uh, six mil rounds. And then the donuts that I'm going to be using, they come um, already strung. Look at the value for money. They're huge, big strands. So I would be getting a necklace um, and probably a pair of earrings out of just one strand. But if you also add in, so these are our 12 millimeter. If you also add in, oh, I should say your 12 millimeter um, donuts, let me bring these in. You get six strands uh, for £19 today. So should normally be £27.99. Um, guess what? My friend Dana has been pronounced cancer free from stage four cervical cancer. Leanne, that is amazing news. What a lovely way to start the day and congratulations. I'm, I hope I'm saying your name right, Dana. Um, congratulations, what a fighter. That is just amazing. Um, oh, I'm really happy for you. That's lovely. Um, and thank you so much for sharing with us as well. It's really nice to share good news. We're all mates on here. Um, so these are your 12 mil donuts, six strands, and they are 19 99 And then we've also got our smaller ones as well. Oh my goodness, I can't imagine getting that news. That's just wonderful. Um, what a phone call that must have been. Uh, okay, so then your eight millimeter donuts, you get uh, six strings, so they're going to match with your 12 mils, and they're down to 17.99 from 24. And they're so delicate, they're really, really beautiful. And I'm going to use, um, let's take my green ones as well. I'm going to use the greens today just to match my outfit, just because I can. Um, okay, so I've got the slightly bluey green, a greeny green. Um, as Kitty would say, and then I've got my larger crystals as well. So I'm going to start with my smaller ones. We're going to use some tiger tail. I mean, look at these. They're normally £4 a strand. So um, amazing value for money. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to string a few up onto tiger tail. I'm going to take these off. And with this, um, you can either start in the very middle of your necklace or you can start down at the base. So I'm going to start in the middle because I want to show you how to create this Y shape uh, drop and little uh, pendant almost down at the bottom of your necklace. So I've got some of my larger ones here and we're going to take some of our larger crystals and our smaller ones. I'm going to string these onto tiger tail. Uh, sorry, what do you mean by tiger tail? Okay, I'll show you in a second. So tiger tail is the stringing material that I'm going to be using. Now it's a nylon coated wire thread, basically. Several strands of wire woven together and they are bound with a nylon coating. So it's not um, wire as you would think. So it doesn't kink. It's more like a reinforced thread. And here it is. So when you are using, obviously yesterday we were doing some bead weaving, we were using thread. When you're using much larger, heavier beads like these, and when you are just stringing, tiger tail wire is the best to use. You get them on lovely spools and it won't fray. It's really strong. You can bend it. It's kind of got the fluidity of thread, but the strength of wire. So there's going to be no stretch. Um, there's going to be no give. And when you're using it as a strong piece, and uh, using your heavier beads, you want to go with a tiger tail wire. Okay, so I'm gonna take a strand of this and cut it off. I'm gonna take a generous arm span, just so I know I've got enough, depending on how long we want to make our necklace. And I'm going to fold it in half. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to thread on 
onto one strand and I'm just going to come up through the middle so you can see where I've um, taken them off of the strands. You've got the hole running through the middle of the donut and we're going to um, pop the little beads inside. So I'm going to take my 8mm crystal which will sit absolutely beautifully inside my 12 mil. You could probably go a little bit larger and if you want to make sure that these are secure you could probably put a little size 15 seed bead in there as well. So I've got one strand coming up through the base of my donut. I'm going to take my second strand and I'm just going to come up through the hole of the donut, not through the hole at the bottom and I'm going to also come up through my crystal. I'm just going to stagger these because I also then want to bring both of these up through the hole at the top. And um, with your first one, it's going to be a little bit trickier, but as we start to go, it will become a lot simpler. And I'm just going to line these up so that I can get them through the hole of my bead. Let's do one at a time. So up through here, and then my second one, I'm just gonna bring this bead out ever so slightly so that I can actually add it around the outside. And your first one, like I said, is gonna be a little bit trickier, but this is going to give us the base to the bottom of our necklace. Come on. I knew it wasn't gonna play ball this morning. Typical, eh? What I might do is even just take it up through the outside. If I didn't have all you guys watching, I would take a little bit more time, go through the crystal, but I don't want to keep you too long and waste our time on silly little bits like this. Here we go. Adapting the pattern as we go. Okay, I'm gonna pull this all the way down to the bottom. So I've taken mine just around the outside, but when you're at home and you don't have the pressure of what, over 100 people watching, <laughs> then you can actually go through the crystal as well. This is going to give me the base and you could add a little seed bead on the bottom here as well if you wanted to. I quite like just the flush finish. And now I'm gonna start um, just stringing up with both of these. I'm just gonna get rid of that little kinky end cut that bit off and then you can start adding on your beads all the way through. So I'm going to stagger the end of these so that hopefully it will become a little bit easier. Let's go for, let's just do three large ones. So I'm going to come up through the base of the donut, add on my crystal. I knew doubling these over would be a silly idea to do live but hey ho we'll see how we go and then if not if it doesn't want to play we can um i just show you the individual stringing and then i'm just going to position that backwards just find that hole in the top of the donut i can see through the very middle it's sometimes a bit easier if you don't have do you remember i said you could um block those um areas with your seed beads Sometimes it's easier not to because um, you can then actually see inside, there we go, you can actually see inside the hole that you want to start coming down from. Um, Linda says, sorry Sarah, missed the beginning, please can you show me what you're making? Yes, yeah, so we're using our hematite donuts. I'm going to create a lovely little necklace like this. Um, I'm just showing you at the moment how to do the little Y drop at the base, um, but uh, you can also do them as lovely rounded necklaces as well. So just showing you how to capture those crystals inside your hematite drums. So you can see I've got two on here, I'm going to go for three. So when you're making features like this, so for example, a little drop down section of your necklace, always go for odd numbers. When you're designing, um, and this is the same for home decor, jewellery, sort of any crafts really, always go for odd numbers because it gives a central focal point, uh, which is really important um, in the balance of your design. So um, things like this where I'm adding this droplet at the bottom, I want to go for threes. If you wanted to make it even longer, then you could, and you could go for five, that would work as well. Go all the way up through the middle, poke it all the way through. Lovely, so I've got my three now. This will give me the very base of my necklace. Pull that down. 
I've got a little kink in there, that's why, there we go. And so that's gonna give me my droplet. And now I'm gonna break this off and start um, threading on individually. So it will be a lot easier from here on in. And I'm going to add on a smaller drum. So this is going down to the six and adding on my smaller crystal. And you'll see that just pops in beautifully. I absolutely love the finished effect that you get on these ones. And the reason I'm going for two smaller ones is because if I had larger ones at the top of this little droplet, um, it's not gonna sit uh, neatly, and I would actually end up seeing some of the wire down at the base. So by doing this, and I'm just bringing that in, feeling for that hole, and now when I split this off, it will cover and hide my wire down at the bottom, like so, and give me a nice little neat finish. And then I'm going to just start alternating between larger and smaller. So let me know if um, anyone's been watching. I think the wire drop might be better. Yeah, I really, I really like the look. The, the donut doesn't look big enough to get the bead in. I know, it doesn't, does it? Um, just play around with them. You could have um, various different clusters of beads inside of them. Let's get myself organised here. You could have various different clusters of beads. You could use seed beads. I think the crystals are just such amazing value for money, though, that it actually gives you... Um, a really lovely finish and um, the crystal just goes so well with hematite especially when they have um, a similar finish because the way that it picks up all those lovely colors I think is just really lovely so I'm just going to alternate between the larger and the smaller so I'm always going through the base of the donut first picking up the crystal popping that into the hole and then I'm bringing the tiger tail wire back down feeling for that hole and coming up through and I'm just alternating between large and small. And then I'll show you how to attach your tiger tail wire and your collots up at the top. So again, on the larger ones, I can actually see that hole that goes on really beautifully. Up through the middle, add on your bead. So let me know what you guys have been making. Did you enjoy these um, hematite um, woven lace yesterday? I know we've had... Um, a lot of you say that you love making it, you love the instructions, are really clear, so I'm really grateful um, for your feedback on them as well. I was thinking yesterday, somebody was asking, I can't remember who it was, sorry, asking if we could use um, round beads with them. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do like a couple of uh, different takes on it using some, some other beads, maybe a bit of semi-precious would be nice, or a nice pearl in the middle, that would look good. Um, does the tiger tail not blunt them? I'm not sure what you mean. Um... The beads, do you mean? Oh, do you mean my cutters? Because I cut it with the cutters. Um, no, I don't find that it does. Um, it's not really a hard wire in that sense. Um, I find that um, I'm not I'm not too fussy. I know lots of people are um, quite fussy about what they cut with their cutters and will have wire cutters, thread cutters um, and everything else as well. To be honest, mine are really universal. I use them for absolutely everything. Um, but they are really good quality as well. Um, morning all, not a bit late to the party. Oh, don't you worry, Jen. We are using our beautiful hematite donuts today and I'm actually uh, capturing some crystals in the middle of them. So they all have holes running up through the bottom, just coming through with some tiger tail wire, adding on that crystal and threading all the way through. So you can see, oops, sorry, camera wobble. So you can see that it's starting to take on a really beautiful shape. We've got that lovely drop down at the bottom. And once I tighten up, I'm going to show you how to get rid of any of those gaps. And as you can see, it just gives you that really beautiful sparkle. And it's nice because when you're moving them, when you're wearing them, they actually move. So either as a bracelet or a necklace, the fact you've got those faceted rounds in there, you can see how just as they roll across your skin, it gives you a really lovely finish. Uh, maybe a version of the hematite bracelet with larger beads. Oh, yeah, that would be really nice. I will um, get cracking. Although, having said that, I think I have a list of, goodness, I don't know, probably about 20 different designs that I need to get working on at the moment. Um, following my week of uh, planning and designing with Kitty this week, we've got so much on the go. Lots of really lovely beads and designs coming over the next month or so. 
Uh, obviously, we're carrying on our daily Facebook Live, so that's good. So here I am going, oh, yeah, I'll just design something new, no problem. I'm not really going to have very much free time. Um, so the bundles today are amazing value for money. I would be looking at getting a full set of jewellery, so that would be necklace, bracelet and earrings, out of your strand of beads because if you're alternating between the two um, sizes as well it's going to give you even more which will be amazing value for money a full set of jewelry out of each one out of each color um, is going to be fantastic how are we doing for length not too bad i'm going to add on a couple more now you've seen us using tiger tail wire quite a lot anyway with our crimp beads and collots attaching on your clasps and so hopefully just showing you how you can actually create that little drop at the bottom will um, enable you to start thinking about different shapes that you can create. Tiger tail doesn't have to be for just simple stringing projects. You can play around with it. You can actually weave with it as well. So far I've loved everything so much but the Byzantine chain mail... Uh, really stood out for me. I had no idea mail could be used fashioned for jump rings. I could have been making it for years. Oh, Leanne, I'm so glad you liked it. Yeah, chain mail is kind of one of my things. Um, I've been doing it for quite a few years. I just absolutely love the look. And I love the fact that you can make things um, that don't look or that look shop bought, like to make a Byzantine chain. And guys, I still haven't finished my bracelet. It's one of these UFOs. No, is it a UFO? What do you call it? An unfinished... I'm trying to think of what somebody had said to me. They had loads of them on the go. And then I thought, oh, that's exactly what my desk looks like. Um, yeah, the chain mail I absolutely love. And I, I'm, I'm desperate to... Uh, try and free some time to be able to finish that bracelet because I've seen chains like it in jewellers for years and they are expensive and when you realise the detail and the time that goes into them you can absolutely understand why. Um, Gwen says uh, that is good that you carry on as we have gone gone back down it oh you're in Leicester oh Gwen yes yeah, so you've got another two weeks extended lockdown haven't you I'm um I'm not sure I hadn't really heard much about these localized lockdowns that they're going to start doing um but yes we realize although they're trying to ease some of us out of it and some you know some people are back to work and everything else um I think we're gonna have quite a summer of it to be honest so we are still going to be here for you every day at 10 o'clock uh, which is really lovely so yes yeah, stay safe Gwen hope you're doing okay unfinished object that's the one thanks Lorna um, I have several of those unfinished objects lying around several I have become addicted to the gemstone trees so much now that I have a forest oh that's amazing um Sarah have you been sharing pictures of them on our Facebook page so there is a group or a Facebook group I should say we've got a group called totally handmade uh, by Totally Beads and if you go on there we would love to see what everybody has been making um, you can share your pictures we'd love to see a picture of your gemstone forest um, I'm sure it looks absolutely beautiful I think I'm gonna go what color shall we go with with this let's go gold uh, or silver no, let's go gold. Um, okay, so the collots I'm going to be using today are our clamshell collots with loops up at the top because this is going to need um, a little bit of reinforcing. They're, they're quite heavy beads when you actually um, finish them. So I'm going to need a clasp, a collot, a jump ring and a couple of crimp beads. So the crimp beads are the smallest of our findings. Now, they're not a normal bead, they are a metal bead and they're squishy. Uh, I would love to do bonsai gemstone trees. Leanne, if you haven't seen them, um, we actually sell kits on them. Um, we've also got some little pots, they might still be in stock. Um, and Kitty has done a few um, videos on them as well. So go and have a little look because We've got all the tuition that you need on here to be able to start making them. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure I've got no gaps in between any of my beads. And because I wanted to start at the pendant, I've started at the base and then split off and I would repeat that on the other side as well. I'm going to make sure that all of these beads 
are as far down and as tightly anchored as they can be. And then from the top, I'm just gonna do the same as well. You could even put little beads in between them, but I quite like the fluidity of the circles all together. And like I said, once you're then wearing these, the way that these crystals just dance is amazing. You get that beautiful sparkle in between them. Okay, so to secure it up at the top, I'm going to add on my crimp, uh, my collot and as you can see this actually has a hole through the middle of the hinge and a dome on either side this is going to hide all of our findings so I'm going to come up through the middle and then I'm going to add on two of my crimp beads and bring this down and then I'm just going to pull with this one they don't actually um, pucker a lot of the time we say kind of mind your tension just make sure that you don't have any gaps down here at the bottom where we've then split off our necklace and that will give you a perfect finish and then I'm going to take my flat nose pliers so I'm actually holding that tension by keeping hold of that tail wrapping it almost around my finger taking my crimp beads and I'm just taking my flat nose pliers and I'm crushing them can you see that so I tend to do the top one first because that's going to hold it all in place and then I can take my pliers underneath and you'll see that I'm actually using my wider pliers. I find that a bit easier because I can actually then use the corner of them and get in really perfectly. Can you see how close I am down to that uh, collot? I'm going to give that a little crush, take my uh, cutters and then I'm just going to trim and leave a couple of millimetre up at the top. I'll then be able to rotate those around so that they sit flatly in the actual clamshell. Probably left a little bit of a bigger tail there. I can see that out the top, but I'll tuck that in in a minute. And then you can close that off so that you're going to get a really lovely finish. Now, I'll then take my pliers and just close off by pushing together my little loops up at the top making sure that they are perfectly aligned you can see that there I'm just going to trim that off because he's going to annoy me perfect and then I'm going to open up my jump ring ready to attach my clasp on and you will do exactly the same thing on the other side so I'm going to take both of my jump rings uh, both of my pliers. I'm going to take my round nose pliers and hold that vertically and twist that open. And then we're going to go straight through the loop of the collot. And a lot of the time you will find that um, some collots actually have like a wire at the top that you would then loop. These ones that already have the loop formed are better to use for heavier projects. So these beads are obviously that little bit heavier. Um, Shirley is asking, how long do you think for an order to take uh, to get to the US, please? Um, I'll get Kitty and Simon to do that. I think there's a few different shipping options. At the moment, I think things are pretty much back to normal. There is normally, um, there has normally been a bit of a delay. Um, but if you get in touch with um, customer services, just give the warehouse a ring. You'll find all the details on our Facebook page. Simon will be able to um, estimate that for you as well and let you know about the, um, the shipping options. Okay, so you can see now that you've got that perfectly finished side of our necklace we've got the two different sizes of our drums two different sizes of our crystals and a very professional looking finish up at the top so it's really really simple um sarah i've had a few problems with crimp beads and crimp covers maybe you could give me a few tips i have no problems with the collots though um, so it depends on what uh, crimp covers you're using. If you send us some pictures, we can have a little look. Let us know which ones you've been using and I might be able to troubleshoot that for you. Um, lovely. Shirley's saying she's going to get in touch. Perfect. Uh, not connected to... Oh, not connected to this demo, but a chainmail question. Is there a chart that tells you how many jump rings per inch in a box pattern? As I think I'm going to run out, uh, might try to work it out from what I've done so far. But if there's a guide for future, that would be really helpful. I don't have one, Lorna, only because we sell so many different sizes and I tend to make the patterns in most sizes. I could probably... Um, 
and I can't guarantee that it would be done anytime soon though because it's going to take quite a while um but we could probably work on doing like a little swatch and chart to let you know how many there have been um I will I will look into that for you Lorna um it'll be quite a timely one but yeah that would be really really helpful for you I usually put the wire through and back on itself as I don't cross, uh, trust crimps with heavy beads. So do I, Diane. This is how Kitty finishes. So any of your instructions and PDFs, this is how Kitty finishes. Um, I would, you're ex exactly right, you're just like me. I would normally add a crimp bead, come back over, take my tail back down through and back through here. Um, it's gonna be a little bit trickier when you're doing it with this, a bit more time consuming, which is why I didn't bother doing it here for you. Um, but that's why I would always double up up at the top here as well, just so that you know you've got that extra bit of reinforcement. Um, lovely, you're all replying to each other, lovely. Uh, wow, what uh, would not have known that that's what the donuts could be used for until your tutorial. This looks fabulous. Thank you so much, Susan. Yeah, it's a really nice take on them. You can use them in so many different ways. I think um, sometimes beads like this, when you actually just see them spr uh, strung and on the website, they can be a little bit uninspiring. You just think, oh, what would I do with it? What shapes could I create? Um, and a lot of the time people don't think of using them out of... Um, you know, their, their uh, shapes and styles that you would see them strung. So hopefully this has, um, like we said, um, inspired you to use them in a different way. Um, lovely. So yeah, just to show you that you can capture some beautiful crystals in your donuts. I think this one goes particularly nice with what I'm wearing today. Um, so this is what we've been doing. I actually alternated the, the larger and the smaller sizes in the make today, but as you can see, I've got um, larger sections in the middle here up to smaller, so you can also graduate those out as well. Lots of different ways that you can use them. Um, we've got some amazing bundles on the website. Don't forget to go and check those out. So, blah, 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 get my teeth in. Don't forget to go and check those out. It is always while stock lasts. Um, so hopefully um, if you are interested in the crystals as well, we're going to have lots of different takes using these as well. Um, uh, we were saying yesterday um, we were using some of our bicones. We've had amazing bicone bundles. Um, in the weeks coming forward, we've got um, more ways to use your hematite rounds if you bought those a couple of weeks ago. We've also got our crystal um, bundles that we're going to be reusing as well. So once you've got these in your stash, we're going to show you lots of different ways that you can use them. Lucy says, lovely tutorial again. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for spending time with us all. You are more than welcome. I absolutely love it. Diane says, have you any pearls you could put in the centre? Absolutely. So I'm using the 8mm and the 6mm. Or is it the 8s and 4s? Hang on one sec. Let me remind myself. Um... One second, and I'm just going to double check. If I just log into my computer. Four mils, yes. Um, so, so long as you've got your six mil, you could use a pearl. You could, um, rondelles probably won't fit in. You're going to have a squash on either side. So you could probably add in some little seed beads. Um, your six mils and your four mils, you could use anything to go in there. They would be beautiful. Margaret says the postman's forgotten where I live. Oh no, waiting for those deliveries, Margaret. It'll be so worth it when you get them. Um, that is beautiful. Looks like they light up. Yeah, absolutely. The way that the um, crystals actually dance in the middle, they just move and really pick up because it's the rounds and they're faceted. Um, if you were going to use a pearl, it would still look beautiful, but you're not going to get that extra sparkle. You could also use your hematite rounds that we've A really lovely take but I just love the sparkle because I think it just really lifts them. Looking gorgeous. Something more now to do with this Leicester lockdown. Oh, um, Sean, I hope you're okay and keeping well. Um, I had a little news flash pop up this morning and said they were going to put us into lockdown in other areas in Lincolnshire as well, which I am now in. Um, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that, uh, make sure that we are okay. Lucy, I've got so much, um, I got so much coming. I forgot what I've ordered. Oh, don't I do that as well when lockdown first started and um, so we only moved into our house uh, a week or two before lockdown and um, so we needed so much stuff and I was just ordering Amazon Prime has been a godsend um, but I was just ordering so much these boxes were coming and John would bring it up and go oh look you've had a delivery uh, what what is it I have no idea <laughs> so you do forget what you ordered I am um 
I'm completely in the same boat. Margaret, I'm in Lincolnshire as well. Oh, hi, Margaret. You must be down the road from me somewhere. Um, we'll have to keep an eye on it, eh? Crystals are beautiful, says Lorna. Thank you so much, guys. It's been lovely chatting to you all this morning. Um, Kitty is going to be with you tomorrow. Um, I am going to be on Create and Craft TV. I'm actually doing some different crafts tomorrow. Um, so it's with my Forever Flowers. We did have a bead show planned, um, but that's actually been moved until next week. Oh, miracle beads would look brilliant, Annie. Um, that would look really lovely. Oh, Julie's saying she's in Lincolnshire too. We're all going to have to have a meet up when this is all done, aren't we? Um, we, all, we all know each other so well. We're chatting away every day. Um, I'll find out where you all are. We could have a coffee or something. Um, so yes, um, you could use any of beads. Miracle beads look beautiful. So yes, I'm on telly tomorrow. So Kitty is going to be with you at 10 o'clock. Um, we do have the Totally Beads jewellery show next week. So that's the 8th, um, if you were um, expecting to see it. Um, I have a question, please, about head pins. What can I coat them in so that they do not discolour? Why would you want to coat them? What are you going to coat them in? Um, if it's to stop them tarnishing, um, then there is a thing called Jewellery Shield. Um, I'm not actually sure that Totally Beads sell it. I haven't used it for quite a few years. Um, but... Um, wish someone was in the Manchester area. Oh, Diane. Um, if it's to stop them tarnishing because you're making costume jewellery and you want them to last, um, then there is a thing called Jewellery Shield. You just have a little Google. Um, that will keep them um, for years. Um, it's very similar to sort of like a clear nail varnish, basically. It comes in a little pot with that little brush as well. Um, all my family in London. Um, oh, I hope everyone's keeping safe. I know it certainly all seems to be kicking off again, doesn't it? Um, stay safe, everybody. Keep on beading. Just join us 10 o'clock and we will hopefully give you um some inspiration and um keep you all nice and busy thank you so much for joining me today i will see you guys um i won't be with you now until the weekend because i've got shows on wednesday and friday um and because they're such manic days and early starts kitty does the ones afterwards for me as well so i think maybe saturday or sunday i'm with you again i'm gonna have to check my little diary in fact hang on i'll tell you now because i can also tell you so I'm a bit scatty today, aren't I, eh? It's a bit busy. Um, Kitty and I filled our diary with everything. So let's have a little look. Um, oh, tomorrow Kitty is going to be doing the Russian Spiral 3. Now, um, somebody has been asking for the last few weeks about Russian Spiral 3. This is the one using the small hex beads, uh, not hex beads, small bugle beads, three millimeter bugles. And somebody has been asking how you can actually then um, wrap them around together to make a bangle rather than using them as a long um, bracelet. So um, I've got a feeling it was Anne, I think her name was Anne, um, has been asking about that. That is tomorrow. That is just for you. Kitty has added this in just for you because you've been asking about it. So Russian Spiral 3 tomorrow. On Thursday, Kitty has some Millifury pendants. Now, they're absolutely beautiful. If you haven't seen this type of glass before, tune in on Thursday because they are absolutely beautiful. Um, something really nice and different. Friday, um, Kitty is going to be making the tile necklace. We've had those on telly um, for a little while. And don't worry about remembering all of this. We're going to add it into the event. And then on Saturday, it's Kitty again. So you've got her for a good few days. We're making her work now she's had a birthday off. We'll make her work for the rest of the week. <laughs> Keep her busy. Um, the acrylic roses. She has a beautiful long necklace with the acrylic roses and tassels coming off the end. It's really gorgeous. And then on Sunday, you have me back again. And I am going to be showing you how to make some wire wrapped bangles. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we made some wire wrapped rings. They were really lovely, really popular. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to take very similar techniques. Now that we're getting used to working with wire a bit more, I'm going to show you how to make your own clasp out of wire. We're going to be wrapping the beads. Um, so that'll be really nice on Sunday as well. So I will hope to see you then. I'm going to miss you all for a few days. I will tune into as many of the lives as I can so that I can answer um, some questions. The answer is roses, yes. Um, yes, tune in for those. Have a look at the events. You can click that you are interested or that you're attending and you actually then get notifications and reminders for when we're coming up. Um, what are you doing on telly this week, Sarah? Um, tomorrow I have, um, it's all forever flowers. Tomorrow I've got um, some chrysanthemums and carnations off the top of my head. 
daisies um and then on friday we've got some dyes and stamps and stencils so something very very different um so thank you all for joining me love you all lots i will see you on sunday stay safe everybody and join kitty tomorrow at 10 o'clock take care bye